In this brief video, we're going to walk through how to style a layer in QGIS to uh, create a custom choropleth map. So this is for a lab in the, the uh, Intro to GI Science course, GIOG 2011, here at the University of Georgia. So to get to this, what we need to do is to open the properties window for our shape file layer for this lab. So we right click on this layer, choose properties, which you may not be able to see, and we get a new window that opens up that should look like this. And if it's not already selected, click on the Symbology tab that allows you to change the way that um, this looks. We don't want a single symbol, which will just fill all counties in the same way. Instead, what we want to do is a graduated symbol. And we're going to pick from one of our variables. I've got several that are listed here that I've calculated. I'm going to pick uh, Manufacturing, which is one of the variables you're supposed to do for your lab. Um, you can click on that. Right, it'll give you a color scheme here. Um, you can pick whatever color scheme you think is appropriate. I'm going to use the magma color scheme, which is actually from a program called MathLab. Um, we choose a classification scheme. We'll just stick with um, natural breaks for now, but you can choose whichever one you think is best. And we'll click on classify just in case it hasn't been done already. And it classifies our data. If we want to see what that classification scheme looks like, we can click on histogram and click on load values, and it will show us where those breaks have been placed if we want to compare. And then um, once we're done with that, we can go ahead and click on OK or Apply. I'm going to click on Apply for now and just take a look at our map. And there, look, it's loaded that color scheme for our data. Um, if we want to um, change that simple, so let's say we didn't want to have county boundaries. I'm asking you to not include county boundaries. Um, in here, just the colors, we click on Change. I click on Simple Fill here. And then I get rid of this stroke color, which is the boundary for that. I click on Transparent Stroke and click OK and OK. And there we go. Now I've got our counties. Without those boundaries getting in the way, it makes it easier for us to see our spatial pattern. So hopefully this works well for you. Um, and this is just a short video workthrough on how to do a core plus map.